Hi everybody, Kate here from Leeds Bird Rants. I hope you had a great weekend. Happy Monday. I hope the sun is shining on you wherever you are in the world today. So I relaxed over the weekend, watched a bit of sport and three things came to mind really. Um, in short, we saw on Friday what Weston McKenney could do for Leeds. We saw what Woolly Nanto does for Leeds and uh, we can't help uh, wondering what Harry Kane would do for Leeds if he was to ever play for us which is never going to happen but hey ho we can dream. So lots to cover today let's get into today's back pages. Yorkshire Pride Leeds women bag first silverware in 13 years. Homegrown talent ready for the first team squad. More injury nightmares ahead of Gunners Clash and we discuss the McKenney Dilemma. Let's go. The Back Pages with Leeds Bird Rants. A stunning 3 1 victory against Starbridge yesterday saw Leeds United women bag their first silverware in 13 years, and what a match it was. Goals from Amy Woodruff, Macy Ellis, and Abby Brown sealed the win after what was pretty much a, a difficult first half. Speaking after the game, coach Rick Passmore praised the attitude of the girls on and off the pitch and said something quite remarkable in my view. He told LUTV this, wearing this badge comes with a lot of responsibility. They had nothing to lose. We had everything in terms of the reputation of this football club. And that speaks volumes to me. The appreciation and respect for the badge and the club that, that, that these women show is second to none. It is what it should be like. And that is what I keep banging on about. And that's what I want to see from the men. I want to see every player that plays for our men's team show the same respect and reverence for the Leeds United badge as these women do yesterday. It was incredible um, because, you know, Leeds women, they're on the march. And as, as Rick Passmore said yesterday, not only in the Cups, but in the League too. And I cannot wait to see how they progress, not only towards the end of this season, but into next season too. It was fantastic. And congratulations to all of those amazing girls. And continuing on the theme of young talent, Charlie Cresswell has been tipped for first team action when he returns from his loan spell at Millwall after what has been described as an outstanding overall performance for the club. The 20 year old youth international has made an impact at the Den with 26 starts from 29 appearances this season, not to mention four goals and two assists. Losing only three games at home this season, Cresswell has helped Millwall to get to sixth in the championship with dreams of promotion to the Prem next season. Speaking about the Leeds defender, Millwall coach Gary Rowett said, I think he's been excellent. If they're playing well, they deserve to stay in the team. That's what keeping the shirt is all about. Cressy has done that. He's got a knack for finding the right moment. Who can argue with that? Yet another young, hungry player He's grafted his way through this season at Millwall, fighting off competition from the, the Millwall captain, um, Hutchinson, to, to, to get that position um, at the back and keep it. And he's done an outstanding job. I hope he gets minutes um, in the first team next season, along with um, a couple of the other ones that I'm watching at the moment, um, like Archie, Archie Gray and Darko Jebi. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting next season. If we stay up, can't wait. Bring it on. We just need to finish this season first, don't we? Now, it was a sight that Leeds United fans hoped they would never see. The sight of Willy Nonto limping off midway through the first half during Italy's Euro qualifier against Malta on Sunday. Nonto has apparently suffered a sprain to his ankle. He's currently being assessed by Leeds United medical staff. But this comes on the back of Tyler Adams' hamstring injury, which he picked up during training um, before the Wolves game. And, of course, Max Vober. Um, his 
a, a hamstring injury that he, he sustained during um, Austria's um, qualifying match with Azerbaijan on Friday. Roberto Mancini said after the game, um, yeah, Nonto is dealing with a sprain. I hope it's nothing to worry about. Yeah, so do I. I mean, as if we need more players out injured. Especially at this stage of the season. For God's sake, we've got Arsenal on Saturday. I can't believe I, I can't believe it. I mean, I suppose we should be grateful that there's only three players that are out. But for God's sake, I mean, our three better players, Vober in defence, Nonto, and Tyler Adams. Hopefully, they might be back. But who knows? Who knows? And finally, I could not let today pass without mentioning my little mate, Weston McKenney, could I? Um, I released a video last week questioning whether or not he was worth 30 million. Some of you agreed with me, some of you didn't, um, which is great. I also released a video um, after the um, US men's 7-1 victory over Grenada, um, applauding his play and his goals, the first one in particular, which kind of led me to think about the fact that, you know, my initial, my initial um, thoughts were, why can't he do that at Leeds? But then I read something really interesting today, and I, I don't usually agree with Paul Robinson at all, but he said something really salient in an interview with Sky today. He basically said that McKenney is an all-round midfielder who, who basically could operate in a variety of midfield ro roles, but, but he's being used at the moment in a more defensive role in Leeds. And, and, and Robinson is basically saying that it's like um, he's playing with shackles on. Uh, he's tied down in that defensive midfield ro role along, alongside Rocker. That's what he actually said. He's a player who can play anywhere in the middle of the park in more advanced roles and in deeper areas. I've no doubt that he could have more goals, but he's not allowed to play that way in the Leeds team. He's more of a defensive midfielder. And I got that sense when I was watching um, Weston McKenney on um, Friday. The freedom that he seemed to play with... Um, was was wonderful. Um, he played with a confidence and a freedom that I don't see him play with at Leeds. And so basically, um, you know, it has to come down to the fact, is he being um, assigned the correct role in the Leeds team? You know, would he be better um, being more of a creative midfielder or an attacking midfielder? Um, I'm kind of thinking that maybe uh, we need to change things up a little bit, you know, because I saw how exciting he can be on Saturday night. I thought that first goal was fantastic. Um, and I think that he should be given a chance to um, appear in, you know, a more advanced role in our team and swap things up and put somebody else in, in a more defensive mid midfield position. Off the top of my head, um, at the moment, because I'm just literally, I'm just literally speaking off the top of my head, I, I can't think who necessarily would be better in that role. Maybe we change the formation up. But um, yeah, I just wanted to say that, put it on the record. Really, really enjoyed watching McKenney on, 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 um, on Friday. And um, really hope that Javi saw that and takes note and maybe employs Weston McKenney in a slightly different role um, when we resume our Premier League matches. And that is it. Oh, yeah, one more thing. I really want to know. Well, I really want I really want to know what you think of McKenney, what I've just said about that. And I also really want to know want to know what you think of this. Calvin Phillips back to Ellen Road. Yes or no? 
that would be, in my opinion, I think that would be amazing. Come home, Calvin. Come home. Let me know what you think. Have a great Monday evening and I shall see you for the next video tomorrow. Take care. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.